All right guys, welcome to the second part of this video where I'm gonna show you how to rig your tails to your hips in Unity. So the first part is you're gonna have to import the VRM Unity file. I'll link below where to get that. But what it is, is just like this Unity package called Unity VRM. You're just gonna drag it to assets like so. And then this thing will appear and you just hit import. So this basically allows you to actually import your VRM file into Unity. It's the most basic thing you have to do every single time you want to mess with your VRM file. It takes like a minute. So don't worry, it takes a while. Unity takes a while to use. It's a, it's a heavy program. All right, so now it's done. I'm going to go up to UVRM because this just appeared once I imported that file. You go VRM, the second one, go import. You're going to find that VRM file. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> this is my life every time I use Unity. All right. So then this appears. This is the avatar. You're going to open prefab. And you'll see this. Okay. So when you scroll down, because my character's bald, there's way less hairs than there would be had she actual have hair. That's not a sentence, ignore me. What you have to do next is import the bone weight transfer file. I'll also link below where to get that. And what it is, is just this Unity package. And you're just going to drop it into assets again. Import. Let it do a thing. And then this tool thing will appear. So you're going to hit tools. You're going to hit the bone weight transfer and this thing in Japanese appears. What it basically says is that this is where you drop the hair that you want to move. This is where the hair is located right now and this is where you want it to go next. So in that order, we're going to grab the hair. This is the tail part of it. You're going to grab the head because it's attached to the head right now. And then you're going to move it to the hips and you hit this button. You also need to do it to the little uh, heart thingy that we made. Put it in there, transfer it. That's it. If you really want, you could just move this to hips. It, you don't have to do this, but like for your peace of mind and you, so you know where this is, you can move it. Because like I said, when you have actual hair, there's gonna be like 50, 60 some hair numbers and it gets really complicated. So now you have it, it's moved to the hips really easy once you uh, figure out how to do it. I'll show you what it looks like. You're going to want to press the top thing. This is the name of your VRM file. Go to VRM, go to this, go to export humanoid. Go ahead and uh, export it like so. I'm going to open 310 to show you if it worked or not. This is a good way because 310 will let you do poses so you can really see if like that tail is going where it's not supposed to go. All right, so that's my person. I'm gonna move her. As you can see, ta-da, it follows her hips like so. Perfect, it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. Here's what it looks like when you don't use Unity to change the hair from the head to the hips. So it just totally detaches from the hips because it thinks it's a part of your head and it just follows the head. So say that you're streaming and then your next thing you know, you're it's doing something you don't want it to do. And that's why you use Unity. But if you really don't want to use Unity, looking at this, it actually doesn't look that bad. You know, like the tail's not just like flying around. Maybe she shook her head. You'd be able to tell, but meh. And that's it. So that's how you rig it in Unity to make sure that the tail follows your hips. In my opinion, it can be pretty easy um, once you understand what all of this is, because again, this can get really messy with a lot of hairs. And that's all this tutorial is for. I hope this was helpful. If not, um, just let me know what other tutorials you want to see. Leave a like, please subscribe. Um, it really does help my channel out and it makes me aware of that you guys find this useful. And I really do appreciate everyone for the nice comments that this is helpful. And if for whatever reason my tutorials aren't helpful, you are allowed to Discord me uh, only if you need help, not for any personal issues or stuff like that. Like, 
I'm here to help you guys, but please be nice about it. It really makes me sad when I get rude comments asking for help. Like, I'm not your mom, you know? I'm not being paid to do this. Like, I'm here to help you when I have free time, so keep in mind the time difference like please don't spam me when it's 2 a.m my time i've had some really uncomfortable messages on discord for people asking for my help and i i'm really turned off by people who ask for it rudely and i don't want to do it but then i have really nice people who ask for my help and they're really grateful at the end so it's i think it comes with uh just helping and making these tutorials for you guys but yeah, just, I would, you know, just prefer to have a nice interaction with you guys. And I, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. Sorry if that was a tangent, but it is what it is. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Comment below. Bye. <laughs>